So now let's go up and just look at these first three tabs. Okay. So if I click on File, again, probably very tiny to look. So you just have to, um, you know, listen through this unless you expand your screen. But one thing that can be confusing is if you're trying to create a new or open an existing, is you actually get four options. There's a data, syntax, output, and script. They're all different, and they all have different meanings. In most cases, you're going to be opening the data view here. Okay, It's going to be a data type. You may, after you've run some tests, you may actually save your syntax or save your output. Okay, but those know that those do not contain the data. They just simply contain the syntax is the the code that you actually created when you ran your test, and the output are the tables themselves. Okay, so if I run a quick um, analysis here, I'm just going to do a descriptive. Got some variables. So this little block of code right up on the top, that's my syntax. Okay, and then the table down here, this is my output. But if I'm looking for data, I have to be back in this in this format here. If you try to go to open database, you've got a whole different set of domains. You have new query, edit query, run query. That's a whole different animal. That's if you're tying into, say, like a SQL database. So again, if, you're, if your data is coming from like an Excel or you're creating a new data set that you have stored on your computer, you're going to be using open, not open database. Um, the save and save as will function just like um, you know, Word and Excel documents. You have print, print preview. <clears throat> One thing that can be very helpful too, a lot of students will download their data set and then forget where it's stored. And you, know, you spend half your time just looking for it. It's really useful. You can use this recently used data uh, and it'll actually, assuming that the, the file is somewhere on your computer, it will actually uh, find it and, and open it up for you. So that's the file. The next one is edit. So um, same thing here. We manually inserted a couple of variables. You can also click here and just literally create a new variable uh, using the insert variable. And then again, once you've done that, you always want to go back and give it a name um, and define the type of measure that it is. One thing, I'll go to the data view here. One thing that can be helpful too is if you're looking for a specific variable or for a specific case, in this data set, um, it's not that hard because there's only you know, a relatively small number of, of variables. But you know, if you have, say, 200 variables, it might be a little bit hard to do that. So what you can do is you just simply go, go to variable. And we're going to go here, click go. And it'll take you right to that variable. You can do the same with the case. If you know the actual case number, um, let's say we're looking for case 150, same thing. So we, we've looked for the, um, the variable and the case, and it brings you exactly to that, to that um, specific value that you're looking for. All right. And so then finally, we're going to do the view uh, variable or um, the view uh, view. Uh, first of all, you can have the status bar on. You can take your status bar off. You have toolbars in your data editor. You can remove them and you can bring them back. And one thing that I, I think is helpful for some is the um, the grid lines. The grid lines in SPSS aren't too bad, but if you don't like the lines, if you feel like they're getting in the way, you just uncheck and you no longer you can lose your grid lines. And all you have to do is click it back and you get your grid lines back. And then finally, um, if you want to see the labels themselves, so these ones and twos and fives over here aren't working for you. And you can click, and it'll actually restore 
the actual names to the data set for you. They're still going to be using the numbers in the background for running the, the stats, but just for visual purposes, if it's helpful for you, especially when you're running this and you're trying to you know, find, find certain types of variables, that is one way to do it. Okay.